Number 92. An RL circuit consists of a 40 ohm resistor and a 3 milli Henry inductor. Letter A. Find its impedance Z at 60 hertz and 10 kilohertz. Right, so whenever they tell you have an RL circuit, basically what they mean is that you have a resistor in that circuit and you have an inductor in that circuit. Okay. Now to find the impedance, we have a formula here that the total impedance is going to be equal to the square root of the resistance squared plus the difference now between the reactive inductance X sub L and the reactive capacitance X sub C squared. If the circuit here, as it is mentioned, does not include a capacitance or a capacitor, I should say, like it's not an RLC circuit, then guess what? This just goes bye-bye. So essentially now this Z or the impedance here will reduce down to root of R squared plus then X sub L squared. All right. So what I need, I, I got the resistance they told it to us, right? It was 40 ohms, but the problem is they didn't tell us this reactive inductance. So we need a formula that talks about reactive inductance. And this is what we did for the past 20 problems, right? Uh, we have a formula here that reactive uh, inductance now is going to be equal to 2 pi multiplied then by the frequency of oscillation multiplied by the inductance. Now we have everything we need. So notice though they're asking us to do this at two different frequencies. So basically there's going to be two calculations, okay? One which will involve <clears throat> a frequency here of uh, 60 hertz. All right, so let's plug in the, the ohms. That's 40 squared plus then 2 pi multiplied now by the frequency of 60 hertz multiplied then by the in inductance. And they told us it was 3 milli Henry, but you know we need that in Henry. So that's going to be 3 times 10 to the minus third. All right, and then the other calculation here is going to be the same exact thing, root of 40 squared plus 2 pi times now the new frequency, 10 kilohertz, but you know we need that in hertz, all right? So we would convert that into hertz, 10 times uh, 10 to the uh, positive three, then this would be three times 10 to the minus three, but they would just cancel, right? So I'm saving myself a little space. So it'd be really just 10 times three, all right? 10, and let me just write, and then it would be times three after you cancel those. So basically now we're gonna just calculate it, okay? So here, square root, Oh, and by the way, by the way, don't forget to, uh, as I'm writing this out, don't forget to square this, okay? Always look back at your work. Oops. Don't forget to square it. Did you catch me on it? Probably screaming at the computer screen. What the hell are you doing? I know. I don't know what I'm doing. So square root of 40 squared plus then parenthesis now 2 pi times 60 times 3 times 10 to the minus 3 square it. So now you get a value here of about 40. Huh. Look at how close that is to the actual overall uh, resistance. 40.015, right? But I guess we just round it to this 40 or so. And then in the second case, uh, what do you think is going to happen now? Well, let's calculate, right? Root of 40 squared uh, plus then parenthesis 2 pi times 10 times 3. And that whole thing is squared. We now get a value of 193. And the units here, by the way, are ohms. Okay, they're ohms again. And the reason being is because, well, resistance is an ohms, reactive capacitance, and reactive inductance is an ohm, and you're adding them together, and then you're square rooting it. Right, so all these have like ohms squared, and then you square root it, so it's just ohm. Right, but those would be the uh, impedance values at those particular frequencies. So notice what happens <clears throat> if you're dealing with an inductor, and you raise the frequency, you will then l raise <laughs> the imp lower. What am I? Raise. No, raise. Yeah, raise. You will raise the impedance. What am I doing? It's directly related. It's directly related. Okay. So if you raise the uh, frequency, you will also raise the impedance. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helped. And uh, if it did, give us a hand. Subscribe, like. All right, and we will see you in the next video. Take care.